that I did that to. <laughs> Hello, Richie here. Hey, uh, Richie, uh, Cliff Craven, uh, U.S. Postal Service. I just have a brief suggestion for the uh, manatees. Uh, you know, the uh, Coast Guard uh, auxiliary over in uh, Pinellas County uh, is very adept at uh, keeping an eye out for intoxicated boaters. And uh, is there any uh, type of doing that uh, on the rivers in the mouth of the bay? Well, I'm sure they watch out for intoxicated boaters right now. The only thing is, is that most, you know, intoxicated boaters um, do drive their boats fairly decent. You know what I mean? It's kind of hard to mess up with a boat unless you go full it's throttle. Come to a little problem where uh, it's very responsible boaters here, and uh, that's, it's incumbent upon us to do something. I mean, if you want to save the manatees, you've got to do something about the uh, irresponsible boaters. And the only way you can do that is to have people watching them. Uh, we can't afford to pay these people to do it, so I guess we're going to have to ask for volunteers, like the uh, Coast Guard Auxiliary. I can't think of any other way. Well, the Coast Guard, Ar- Guard Auxiliary is extremely well-known for their you know, care for marine wildlife. Hey, yeah, I hear you a good job with Ponty playing there in the background there. It's very good. Yeah. Well, hit it with some music, Brian. we got plenty of room the next day. I can play that. Uh, I like the John Luke Ponty that we're playing in the background. It's, it's much better. That's what I was down at the uh, postal service. 
Oh, okay, that sounds pretty good. Well, uh, I'm gonna head on back to the bar there with that uh, man, so uh, we'll just uh, And save a manatee. Manatees, those furry little creatures swimming up and down the rivers. What can you do to protect them? What can you do to protect yourself if you were swimming down the river? Hello. Hi. Hi. You're a good looking man and I love your show. Thank you. Um, question for the day, and I know you want to see my sign, right? I already know. What are you going to do to protect manatees? And of course, the Richie Hotline number at 251-5123, which has a very interesting message. Okay, the manatee is uh, manatee, right? Manatee, yeah, whatever. She is gentle. They named the county after it. Yeah. Okay, the manatee is gentle. Please leave them alone. They don't bother anyone. The river is their home. Please watch for the manatee. They only live and eat. I'm sure that would help you if they could. They'd even kiss your feet. I'm sorry about that last line, but I, you know, ran out of time. Well, I had to throw it in real quick. I couldn't think, you know. You answered the phone so quick. So, um, okay, now I have to ask you a question. Oh, sure. It's a nice question. I'm not going to get rude. Okay, now, you're on that show every week, right? Okay, every Friday. Yep. <laughs> okay, seen. now. That's Brian. I Hit it with some music! <laughs> Okay, go on. Oh, he's going to go a long way. Yeah, I know. I, I mean, that's, Already. That's why we started him off young. That's great. Elvis Jr. Oh, okay. Now, how come, you, how come you're how you using that for a table? <clears throat> um, I mean, because. they should give you a better table. Well, please beg them to. <laughs> <You know. laughs> I mean, when you look and you see the blue curtain in back of you and you look nice, you know, you're a good-looking man, all of a sudden they flash down to the wood and... And it just seems to me that, I mean, I would actually like to sit here and see you sitting at a table. Well, so would I, but, you know, I, I take what I can get, you know what I mean? Say, huh? Okay, well, I enjoy your show. Oh, wait, my little girl wants to say something. She's four years old. Oh, hi. <laughs> they should protect the manatee. Could no one should kill them. Okay, that sounds nice. Okay, have a nice night. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Okay, what can we do for manatees? Manatees are extremely interesting. They're furry little creatures. And believe it or not, they do have hairs. <laughs> yeah. Hello? Yeah. What happened to Liz Richard? I don't know. I leave town and all of a sudden she's gone. I, ha I have no idea what happened to her. You like manatees? Yeah. Like floating rocks. Floating rock? Yeah, like a floating rock. It looks like a big old rock swimming in the water. Well, yeah, that, that's a good description of it because it's sort of like gray like granite, sort of white like... Uh, okay, how many heads of cabbage do the ones at uh, Epcot eat every day? Oh, God. I, I remember I was there, and I saw them throwing um, one head in after the other. But they cut them up first. You know, you, you just don't give them a whole head of cabbage. So they were tossing in the leaves and stuff like that. But I'm sure they eat a lot, more than 40 pounds worth. How many heads? Whatever 40 pounds worth would be. That's more than 10 heads. Five heads of cabbage a day. What? 195 heads of cabbage a day. No, I don't believe that. Yep. Uh-uh. Yep. No way. Yep. <laughs> if you say so, but, you know. Uh, That's what they had. That's what they The guy was standing right there feeding them, telling everybody all about them. Oh, between the two of them, maybe. Well, possibly. You grow it all right there in their, uh... Oh, yeah, yeah, inside of the, uh, what do you call it, the botanical section of uh, the craft area. Yeah. But um, then again, you know, I've never really fed a manatee all that he would take. You know what I mean? <laughs> you couldn't carry it all down there with you? Not in the job, though. Not with an oar. Sounds like these guys are trying to steal your show. Well, if they want to, what the heck? Whatever makes them happy. Noise. You hear the noise? Noise. What noise? The noise that's going on in the background. Oh, oh you mean the audio effects that yeah. uh, George is doing? Yeah. Well, I, I'll let George get away with some of that every once in a while. I mean, he's, he's got to because he's extremely bored, you know what I mean? Okay. I mean, we're talking about manatees, which is a very ser serious subject. Ain't nothing like seeing a big old pair of lips on my television screen. I don't know why they do this. <laughs> but they're bored, you know what I mean? Yeah. Okay, I'll see you. All right. Bye. Manatees. Manatees are nice creatures, and we should do more for them. Hello. Yeah. All right, we should take the manatees. 
I'm a licensed carpenter contractor, and I will build you a set if you want me to. <laughs> build me a set. I will, I'll do it. Said I'm a good carpenter. References out to Yahoo. <laughs> I appreciate it, but um, right now I'm, you know, into boxes and stuff. Besides that, I'm. I'm not a high fluting type guy, you know what I mean? It doesn't have to be high fluting. Affordability is my middle name. Well, this is all I need. I'm now, Richie. A box. Trapping, the trapping is a success. A shoe box and a star to sell it by. That's all I ask. No designer shoe box then. No. What do you think about manatees? I like them. You like them? Yeah, and it's going to be a tragedy if there isn't any more than 20 years. I think that's about what the year of projection is. Yeah. Yeah. 20 years, actually, that's kind of optimistic. I think it may even, they may even be... It may be shorter than that. Mainly because, you know, if you kill all the males, you know, you can have to get off the end and just have to die a broken heart. Now, we said, what's the gestation period on manatees? Anyway, how long does it take one to, uh, to uh, have a baby? I don't know that. I seriously don't know what it is. I've never watched them have a baby. You know, all, all the experience that I get, you know, is from actually being with a manatee. I see. Well, I understand that they, they, we lost about 90 of them last year, but how many were born? How many, how many cats? We don't, they don't have a count of that. That's the interesting thing. I asked a, I asked the people over there at uh, Disney World, and, you know, that was one of the questions, um, how many were born? And they said they don't know how many were born in the wild, but they don't believe it was enough to replace the numbers that were lost. Uh-huh. But that would, this is true. That would definitely mitigate the uh, projected decline then, if, if uh, the number of births is greater than what is what is expected. Which means it could be as short as 12 years. Or maybe or longer. Or longer. Or take longer. No, no, you can't repeat the fact that, that they're in trouble. There's no yeah. around that. All right, I'll see you then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got one more minute left, so we can take one more telephone call, or they can roll the toilet, so we'll make some happy. This is the telephone call. This is the telephone Hey, Paul, what's up? Manatee. Hey, Paul. What are you going to do to protect your manatees? Anything, you know, pretty much back to this when I grow up. Talk to manatees, this is Robert. Robert, I knew it was you. Robert, I did that with you. God, Robert, why do you keep on calling me? 254-3076, we'll take one last color, as long as it's not Robert. Yeah, I mean, anybody really that's, you know, a serious color, we'll take them. Hello. Okay. Hey, this is the king, baby. I just want to say I'm slim on the trim. I'm ready to rock and roll again. I'll get some food for test to my fans out there. A lot of little baby manatees up here rock and roll for the rest. That's all I can see. And if we keep going the way things are going, then the manatees are going to go the same way as the mother. So you know what happened to them. See ya.